Okay. 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 I'm going to talk about social media because I think that actually there are things that happen and people don't know what to do or they don't pay enough attention to it. And I want them to aware of this and to protect them from this danger. Social media, like all the things, has benefits like instant communication, instant information, some labor opportunities, entertainment for kids and adults and also you can buy or sell any type of product as you want. But also you have problems and I think there are two that are the most important to talk about it. Grooming for the people that don't know is when someone abuses or sexually harasses a kid or a teenager. Actually teenagers are the ones who most use social media. And if someone wants to get something from them, first they analyze their objective. Then they create a fake account with all this information that they get. Then they start talking and they start getting personal information and they convince this kid that they have the same age. When he knows that he has this child in his hands, he, he proposed meeting in a park. And there is when, for example, kids disappear, and in some cases they are found dead. There is a case of a girl that knew that Nadal was talking to her, and she alerted to her parents, and when she went to the park, the family called the police, and finally they caught this officer. We can identify this when kids have smooth changes changes in their habits, changes in their relationships with friends and family. I think that we have to tell parents to tell their kids to don't follow these people, to report them and to only follow the people that they know, or just to wait until they grow up, that is when their mind is prepared for all this. The other problem is the addiction to social media that actually teenagers have because they are always using their phones in their free time. This may cause anxiety, depression, isolation, sleep disturbance and getting away from the real world and from your family relationships. For this I recommend parents to make some sports, to play some board games or just to do something to make this addiction lower. To sum up, I recommend for parents and kids to be careful on the things that you publish, you comment, you search on the social media. And sometimes it's good to leave your phones. And I recommend you to go up with your friends or family and to enjoy the things that you have in your real world.